For the first time, a top pharmaceutical executive was found guilty in a case linked to the nation's opioid crisis. A federal jury convicted Insys Therapeutics founder John Kapoor and four other former executives of the company yesterday. Prosecutors accused them of bribing doctors to prescribe a highly addictive fentanyl spray called Subsys. Anna Warner is here with what's being called a landmark prosecution. Anna, good morning. Vlad, good morning. One-time billionaire John Kapoor was once one of the country's most powerful pharmaceutical executives. Thursday's verdict is a sign of the government's mounting efforts to hold drug makers and distributors accountable for the nationwide opioid crisis. It took 15 days for a federal jury in Boston to find former Insys Therapeutics chairman John Kapoor and four other former company executives guilty as part of what prosecutors described as a nationwide conspiracy. Insys Therapeutics, that is our name. We're raising the bar and we're changing the game. Among the pieces of evidence presented during the 10-week trial, this five-minute video promoting the fentanyl spray Subsys, featuring an Insys company salesman rapping about prescribing higher drug doses using a process known as titration. I love titration, yeah, that's not a problem. And I got new patients and I got a lot of them. Prosecutors say the video was just one of the dubious tactics Insys used to boost profits, which also included bribing doctors by paying them for sham speaking engagements. In 2017, CBS News learned Insys made 18,000 payments to doctors in 2016, totaling more than $2 million. This case had very good evidence. Michael Canty is a former federal prosecutor who has advised states on suing opioid companies. I think that this will send a message to other prosecutors that, look, these are cases that can be brought, and if you have the evidence and you can put it before a jury, uh, there's hope that you can get the, you hold those criminally responsible. In a statement, Incest said, quote, the actions of a select few former employees are not indicative of the hard work conducted by our talented team today. An attorney for John Kapoor says they'll continue to fight to clear his name. While sentencing dates have not yet been set, racketeering charges carry up to 20 years in prison. Anthony. Anna, thanks.